After that bit with Temujin? Uh, you know what? I'm going back to my fluffy nightmare. <laughs> It's not gonna be a nightmare, it's fluffy. <clears throat> what was his voice? <laughs> hello, hello! Long time no see. Hmm? We haven't met before, you say? Eh, who cares? More importantly, what were we just talking about? Come to think of it, where even are we? Nice PJs, to be honest. <laughs> Although I could do without the buttons. Oh yeah, you got a bunch of stuff you need to take care of. And working hard is hard work. That's what we're talking about a second. That's what we were talking about a second ago, right? When I'm in a similar situation, I just drop everything I'm doing all at once. I give up. Yep, you should totally try it. Focus on focus only on what you care the most about. What you're best at. That's what'll make you the happiest, I think. Huh? You mean you don't know what's the most important what's most important to you? You don't see why that would even work. You've got to be kidding me! Are you trying to tick me off? Life is full of confusion and wrong turns. Not knowing what is what makes life fun. How can you not see that? What did it matter to her if I understood? Why was she getting so uh, Why was she getting so upset? I started getting mad too. Though for some reason. So, though, for some reason, and I yelled back, I'm not exactly sure why I did that. <laughs> oh, I think I ne I'm needed over there. Well, see you later. If we meet again, I'll tell you the rest. <laughs> no, kick the jams! I don't think we're back in Kansas yet, Toto. <laughs> Oops, wrong voice. I don't think we're back in Kansas yet, Toto. If there were a place like this in Wayno Academy, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'd know. This is definitely someone else's dream. Is this gingerbread? Is this gingerbread land? Interesting. We had assumed there was only one dream world, but it appeared we were mistaken. It didn't occur to me that each dream could create a new world. This is looking to be a huge pain in the neck. Just how many dream worlds are there? <laughs> how baffling. What in the seven hells is occurring? <laughs> Before we start running about like chickens with our heads cut off, let's review the basics. Jambavon? Tell us everything we know, we know about collided worlds. Okay, Lave, well. Lay it on me, Jampavan. <laughs> well, first, it's said that collided worlds are a phenomenon that occurs only within a certain type of enclosed space. The, terms, the term collided world is used when another world overlaps and merges with our Tokyo. There are several requirements for worlds to collide. The most important one being the presence of a transient who feels particularly strong about the world in question. Some researchers of collided worlds call this transient around whom the world... Called it transient around whom the world revolves around 
the air focus. Right now, we're operating under the hypothesis that this is some sort of collided world, or at least something very similar. They, they have, they have actually been similar. There have actually been similar cases in the past of collided worlds occurring right next to each other like this, right, Lane? Assuming that same phenomenon is occurring here, each collided world should have its own focus. Put simply, we have multiple dreamers tonight. Which means we won't be able to leave this chain of worlds until all of those dreamers have woken up. In theory, at least. Hmm. So not only do we not know the way out of here, but we also got a whole queue of dreamers we need to wake up. This night just keeps getting worse and worse. I can't, I can't believe I got dragged into this. How are you holding up, Al? <laughs> Why do you ask? I was just wondering if you felt the same, you know, since you got dragged into this too, that's all. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd sure like to teach that knucklehead who got us stuck here in, le in here a lesson. <laughs> Though I admit I'd rather not do that for my own good. Dang it. I've got to make sure we get through this quickly and smoothly so no one suspects me. If I can't, it'll be like it was back in my home world all over again. I can't let that happen. Mm hmm. So, what now? Are you coming with us, John Bavon? Uh, um, I know I've only caused you trouble, but I would like to come with you, if that's alright. I don't think you have much of an option. We have to search for a way to get a way to get back to Tokyo anyway, and I'd like to find Q Sith too. I, I Fenrir, will also lend my aid. I shall free us from this winding labyrinth of sweet temptations. <laughs> Things will definitely go a lot smoother with you two around to help us out. We should probably have everyone else wait here for us, though. I'm sticking I'm sticking by what I said earlier. If anyone else says they want to come with us, you're in charge of them, Brandon. Yeah, you got it. We can do we can all do this together. I'm so sorry, but my head is still swimming. Is it okay if I stay here and rest for a while? Sure thing. Rest up. No pressure. We'll come get you when we're done here, so make sure you stick together while we're gone. Will do. Thanks, Jump. Thank you, Jump Avon. Be careful out there. Now then, first things first. We should try to find out who's the focus of this dream world. Mm, yep. And Q Sith is lost in these dream worlds too. We might be able to find him along the way. Q Sith would love this place. If he's here, I bet he's snacking. <laughs> Would you blame him though? Those store those stores are mouth watering. <laughs> Let's all try some just one bite! Sweet is savory, am I right? <laughs> what makes you think they'll taste any good? For all we know, they could be made of sweet smelling cement. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know, in my dreams they always taste good, so I figured it'd be the same deal here. <laughs> I can't be the only I can't be the only one who's hungry, right? So come on, let's dig into one of these houses. Right. We've been walking for ages after all. You're gonna eat a house? What if someone lives there? Well, if this is a dream, then these things only exist inside it. Dreams are the creation of the dreamer, so objects and structures within dreams are, uh, are fleeting. They pop in and out of existence just as easily as the thoughts we get throughout the day. So these houses, it, so these houses isn't going to put anyone on the streets. I, <clears throat> actually, I very much doubt anyone's living here at all. These houses don't show any signs of being lived in. Of course, that still doesn't mean that it's ethically sound to, uh, consume something just because it's no one's property. 
Your stomach says otherwise. I wonder if my dad would be willing to forgive something like this, just this once. After all, these are unusual circumstances. Hmm. In many ways, dreams are, are kind of a battle, so battle zone, wouldn't you say? So, as a researcher of battle zones, I have to try some. For science. Besides, it's not like every day you get to visit a world made of candy. This could be our first and last opportunity to find out what a candy house tastes like. I mean, dream food might not actually fill our stomachs in the real world. But it's not like we have anything to lose. Dang! <laughs> hey, he's the first to dig in! What the? How is this so delicious? <laughs> is it that good? Well, I suppose if you're having some, then there'd be no harm in me taking just a little bite. Whoa, this is yummy. This is some top class candy. Wow, you two are right. This is one tasty doghouse. I'm not sure what it is, but it's chocolatey, fluffy, and super rich. I refuse to partake in the consumption of unknown substances. I will quench my thirst with, yon with yonder water and endure my hunger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've never seen anyone actually take the garden hose to fill a cup of water. Everyone I know just drinks straight from the hose if they do that. This isn't water at all. Is this hot cocoa? So delicious. Oh. Oh dear. Um. Hmm. Uh. Uh. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's nighttime, so I shouldn't be eating anyway. Maybe I'll just drink from the hose. So delectable. No, I shall not yield. <laughs> Well, as the old saying goes, if you can't beat them, grab some candy. I'll just eat something familiar, like this lollipop. Huh? It doesn't taste that special. Alright, that's weird. Why is the candy... Why is the real candies taste boring? Who needs candy anyway? That flower pot over there looks pretty good. Mm -mm. This is the stuff. Sweetness doesn't get overwhelming no matter how much I eat. I can just keep going. Come to think of it, that's a little concerning. Whoever our dreamer is, they must really be in love with sweets if they're able to dream of something like this. You know, I thought this back in Java Von's dream too, but why were only some of us sucked into the dream world? Not. Why not all of us? When we woke up this morning, there was nothing weird going on with any of us, was there? Well, this is based on the hypothesis I mentioned earlier, but... Maybe those who were closest to the dream world's focus got hit harder by the world's effects. Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> if that's so, then could it could that could explain why people appear as part of the dream. Let's call them the cast, and others don't. <laughs> For example, Fenrir was the guard dog protecting me in my dream, right? 
In the real world, Fenrir is always the one taking care of me when I'm running myself ragged in the lab. Hmm. <laughs> You're so cool, Fenrir. <laughs> I think that might be why Fenrir was dragged into my dream. Perhaps the dreamer is more conscious of those who fall asleep next to them. That could be the reason why the three, why you didn't become part of the dream itself and instead got, just got dragged into it. You were too far away from where I was sleeping. If that's the case, then it's strange that Q Sith isn't with us. Did he get up in the middle of the night to take a walk or something? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he had to go to the bathroom or something. Wherever he is, I just hope he's alright. <laughs> you and me both. Well, looks like we're stuck here. So now that we fill our stomachs, we should probably get a move on. Oh god, that showed up. In the feed. Damn it! Damn it, Windows! <laughs> whoever dream, whoever dreamed this up should be in the real, should be in the relatively central location. It shouldn't be hard to figure out where, where they are. If a dream world is centered around its dreamer, then that dreamer should be somewhere like, oh, I don't know, that castle, for instance. Would you look at that? What an elaborate, what an elaborate craftsmanship! That castle's bound to be delicious. How are you not full? Oh, um, <laughs> maybe just forget I said anything. Mm, I agree with you there. I agree with you on where the dreamer should be. We'll start by heading toward that castle. What a suspiciously grand palace in the middle of an equally peculiar world. There can be no doubt where the ruler of this land resides. I think so too. Let's check it out. Durga, please accept this gift of chocolates. They contain only the finest important cocoa. No! J no chocolate can beat my cream puffs. Please try one if you would. Will you not quit bugging me about this already? I keep telling you I refuse to eat something that high in calories. What's with the crown? Huh? This? I don't know. I just woke up wearing it. I'm pretty positive I fell asleep in my pajamas, but when I woke up, I was in this uniform. Maybe somebody dressed me, dressed me while I was asleep. Ugh, talk about creepy. Queen Durga, queen. Oh, Queen Durga, please, there's no need to look so unhappy. Have some dessert, it will make you feel better. He's still in his PJs. All, all of these seats were selected especially for you. They're so delicious you won't be able to just to have just one. Gunzo? You're here too? Tamamura? Is that you? Did they make you bring these desserts here? Please, please tell me it wasn't Please, please tell me it wasn't you who dressed me? Seriously, please? <laughs> If it was you, I'll never forgive you! Never! You hear me?! Uh, wh what? You can dress yourself perfectly fine! Last I checked, you put that on yourself! <laughs> he is right, my Durga. This is- oh my god, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he is right, my Dur- He is right, my Durga. This is your dream, your desire. My desire? What do you mean by that? This is a manifestation of your truest, most innermost desires, and I want you to know that regardless of the nature of your wishes, I accept you with all my heart. All of this is for you, my Durga. Please, eat as much as you like. Not you too, Walkin! This isn't going to do me any good at all, though! 
There are so many contests you can't even participate in if you gain too much weight. Just because you can put, just because you can put on weight for your sport doesn't mean I can't for mine. Can you at least be a little understanding? Sweets are something I can't lay a single paw on. My Durga, that is simply that is why I simply cannot stand to watch you reject them now. When someone I care about says the exact opposite of how they truly feel, I cannot and will not let it slide. I want to alleviate those suppressed emotions. Only the one who is forcibly repressed under the weight of the world should have to deal with the pain, with pain and sadness like that. What are you even talking about? And will you quit pushing that sweet monstrosity under my nose already? <laughs> oh, this is so, this is so cool. Look at all the look at all the cakes and candies and stuff people have brought for you. You must be one popular tiger. Uh, Walking. I'm so glad to see you both. You're here too? How lovely to see you all. Welcome to Durga's Dream World. Huh? You know where we are. Of course I know where we are. To me, all paths are one. It's just as you think. We are inside Durga's Dream, my Brandon. Technically, it's a clash of two conflicting dreams, where one she isn't allowed to eat any sweets, and another where she desperately wants to indulge. I, of course, am part of the cast. Isn't that so, my Brandon? Let's wake them up, then! I'm afraid I can't do that. Even if I wanted to, this buffalo in, this buffalo in my, which my spirit resides belongs to Durga. Our bodies can't go against our roles, not even when they have us play characters within dreams. That's not how things work for those of us summoned to Yoyogi Academy. By the way, dear Gunzo, here also belongs body and soul to Durga's dream. For my part, I want to learn what my Durga longs for from the bottom of my bottom of her heart. So I fully intend to see how this dream plays out. What's up with you, Durga? I thought you said you like sweet things like this. We walked through the entire town, talking and befriending everyone we met to get this crowd to join us with their wares. We are all connected and everything is shared. And we, my Durga, want nothing more than to share these sweets with you. Look, you have no idea how happy I am that you guys care about me so much, but why are you doing all this? It's not normal for you two! And I know you have good intentions, but you're still being really pushy! Hey, wait a minute. Come to think of it, something like this happened super recently, didn't it? You know, Durga, they, <laughs> you know, Durga, they might not be entirely wrong, at least in terms of getting us out of this dream world. Huh? What do you mean, Al? Well, unless you do something about your conflicting urge to, bo to both indulge in sweets and keep them at arm's length, nothing's going to change. Back in my dream world, the, th the thing that helped us get out was calming me down from my frenzy. Just look at how delicious this chair right here is. So good. No, there's only one word for this stuff. Heavenly. Y you just ate a chair! A chair! You know that's not food, right? Uh, we've eaten plenty of chairs. The houses were even tastier. Uh, you... You what?! Who do you think you are destroying Her Majesty's property and going about eating houses? Sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, at least you recognize your mistake. Feel free to eat whatever you want. Just be sure to give us some feedback. None of you are making any sense. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Hmm. Making the dreamer face their desires by giving in and eating sweets, huh? <laughs> it could work, but she's so against the idea. If we're wrong and it doesn't solve the problem, things could go south real fast. Differing opinion. <clears throat> Differing opinions will rend us in twain. Which is the true path? Or will all lanes end in doom? 
<laughs> don't say things like that, Fenrir! I don't want to push her. Her feelings matter to me. It's not like I can't eat anything sweet at all, okay? I just have to work off the extra calories afterwards, that's all. It's just that everyone's giving me such yummy looking stuff. If I get a taste, I don't know if I could stop myself from eating everything in sight. That's what I'm afraid of. You hear that, Gunzo? Leave her alone. We shouldn't force her. Oh, oh, come on. Do you have any idea how much Durga actually wants to eat some of this, Brandon? We aren't asking her to do anything she doesn't already want to. We're simply waiting for the moment my Durga will start eating of her own accord. However, however, if you are trying to prevent Durga from making such an important decision, then we'll just have to fight to protect her. That's right! Don't worry, my Durga! We'll protect your desserts! I'm sorry, but it would seem that this is the kind of thing Durga wants us to say in this stream. Still, I'm glad you banished one. Wait! Hold up! Roll, roll that back! Hold up! You know! He knows! He should know! I'm sure I wish to be reunited with you on the same plane like this. Could you stop babbling nonsense for just one second? Seriously, what's going on here? Step back, everyone. Embrace yourselves. Players in this dream are about to attack. Uh, but why? Everyone's lost their minds. Walken's doing this on purpose! Alright, my Gunzo. It's time for the kickoff! <laughs> Roger that, Walken! Oh dear. My, my sacred artifact, Red Bro, creates a buffalo trail no one can intercept. Grab the ball and blow your way straight down the path. Follow me, everyone! Oh dear. Onward! Oh dear. <clears throat> yo, yo, yo! A candy! A land of candy! Ain't that dandy? Me met up with some buffaloes. Listen up now, muscle bros! I can see your tippers flare. <laughs> I can see your tippers flare from thinking that we even dare to stop your friend from her dessert. But that's not what you. That's not what. But that's not me. You wanna hurt yo? George! Huh? Didn't you hear me? Didn't you hear me? I'm not the one you want. Why are you still running at me? What is that idiot? What is that idiot think he's doing? Standing in front of a raging buffalo stampede of all things. How rash! Is this final action in pursuit of popularity to be his demise? <laughs> You're such an attention hog. Out! I'll, I'll save you. <laughs> I'll, oh crap!
ごちゃごちゃ抜かすなまとめてこっち来なIn some ways, I think this may be my dream as well, Brendan. For this is what I've wanted for so long. To crash up against you flesh to flesh to tackle your true feelings. <sighs> Alright. Time to wake up now. Boundless tail! Rend the dream, not the flesh! Yeah! What incredible agility! I suppose this is what it means to be an athlete. He's not going to make this easy for us, is he? So now we've seen how they fight over at Yoyogi. Time to show him how we researchers handle battles. Venmir, you'll spearhead the assault and create an opening for John Bavon and Brandon to cap capitalize on. As for me, I will support you all from the rear the best I can. Very well. Let this prodigious body of mine bear the brunt of her unre unrelenting fury. I shall leave the critical counterblow in your capable hands, Brent. We've got you covered, Finrid! We count on us, just get us an opening! <laughs> the wide receivers aren't keeping some distance from the offensive line, leaving the quarterback behind them. A shotgun play, huh? Interesting choice. Charge! <laughs> Hey, that's enough! Look, I get it. I'll just I'll eat the desserts, okay? Just stop fighting already! Durga? You don't have to force yourself. I appreciate the concern, but I'm fine. I really do want to try all the things everyone brought me. I mean, look at all this stuff. Have you ever seen anything so tasty? And that smell? How can I resist? So I'll eat them! I hereby declare I will eat these desserts! Queen Durga! You finally decided to eat our sweets! Such a glorious day! We should make today a national holiday! I'm so happy! These are the happy tears! Nice one, Durga! I'm, I'm gonna bring the whole team out to celebrate. What a great idea, my Gunzo. We must simply celebrate the day with my Durga. The day my Durga finally listened to our heart. Today is the day that should go down in history. That we may never forget this joy. What's with everyone? You're really that happy? Jeez, now I can't stop grinning either. <laughs> Everyone's in such a good mood. What a nice dream. Right. It's so sweet, it would be a waste not to eat. So she decided to eat the sweets after all. I wonder how this will play out. Okay then, I guess I'm going to dig in! So, so good! How is this so good? Yay! Well done! Well done! Well done! Well done! Oh joy! Oh joys! I am filled with such overwhelming happiness that you cannot fathom it, your majesty! Oh, glorious day! Well done, Durga! Truly! 
That's my Durga! We should share this happiness with everyone! This one's great too! I suppose they taste so good because I was holding back on eating them! Oh, please tell me things didn't happen this way in my dream. I'm getting second-handed embarrassment here. Was I, too, forced into such foolishness? I am ashamed. Hey! Who are you calling a fool? Eh, never mind. These desserts are just too good to care. There's no way I could stop at just one. Oh. We were about ready to go all out, and then... Okay. Uh, huh. Now that's what I call dessert! My tummy is so happy right now! Huh? No way! I've gotten so... big! Uh, Durga, you've grown! You're much taller now, and wider. Having watched the whole thing, I can definitely say it was the sweets that made her grow. The ravenous sweets devourer has grown similar to size to that of Jambavan. What? I grew that big too? Can please somebody open up a hole for me to crawl into? No! No! I don't like this! But you've grown so stout and strong! This is wonderful, my Durga! Nobody look at me! I can't stand having everyone look at me like that! No stupid desserts! It's all their fault! I hate sweets! Oh! I knew this would end badly! I can feel it in my bones. Why didn't you stop it? The bigger the suppressed emotions, the more guilt the owner feels for having them. In other words, what we have here is a large-scale rejection of Durga's own feelings. <laughs> so this is the real form. So this is the real form of the dream. Was everything up till now a sham? All a sham? Wanting to indulge, but also not wanting to indulge. This is the. This whole dream is one big contradiction. I. I don't have a solid out voice. Not until he starts rapping. <laughs> if Dirk is if Dirk is queen of this kingdom, then that must mean she's no candy queen. She's a queen of destruction. What do you mean, queen of destruction? Then this dream world wasn't created to created to be eaten. Dirk created this world so she could destroy it. But that would mean that. Too. Durga! <laughs> Anything and everything in this dream is something meant to be destroyed, including us! We're in danger then! If we stay here, we'll get squashed like pancakes! This world was made to... Uh, 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 no time for jokes. This world was made to be destroyed! A destroyer. It's something created only for it. Its merit has something to destroy. If that is truly the way of this world, then this is a terrible play of fate indeed. Oh, uh, Durga, why are you destroying stuff? This is your kingdom, you know. Uh, but more importantly, what was I doing just now? He broke free. What about walking? Watch out! This watch out! This place is going down fast, Gunzo! Let's leave the castle for now! So the dream's loosening its grip on Gunzo and Waka. Waka, it's consciousness. It's, it's, does that mean Durka's hold on the dream is weakening? If so, maybe I can get these two to wake up. Okay, gotta keep a low profile. Oh, sacred artifact, it's time to switch this pair's dreams with reality. Out of the castle, quick! Everybody run! <laughs> stupid desserts, stupid sweets, I hate them! What's going on? Who is that? And what if they don't with my Durga? 
Seriously though, what's happening? Why is Durga on a rampage? Are you both back to normal now? You're finally awake! Yeah, sorry. Looks like we caused you some trouble. <laughs> I'm just glad you're back with us. You should let me take a look at you later, though, to make sure there aren't any lingering side effects. With pleasure. I leave my health to you, my Jambavad. You don't even- Hey! You don't even... What? <laughs> Looks like my sacred artifacts not going to someone walking out of it. I've been trying since we got to, this, got to the castle. But it looks like it doesn't have any effect so they're already half away. Now if only Durga would calm down enough for me to use Sacred Artifact on her. Wait, this really is some dream slash collided world combo. It'll take more than that. We have to fix what's Berg and Durga too. My memories are all... Ugh, my memories are all fuzzy. What happened? You guys were caught. Okay, um, you guys were. We landed. We landed in the dream world. Landed in the dream world. Uh, everyone seems to be caught in it. You guys are. You guys got caught in Durga's dream and stuff. And were essentially brainwashed to be actors in it. And that's the longest short of it. Uh, right. Okay. In that case, at least let us help you stop Durga. She's our friend. <laughs> we want to help her. If Durga wishes to stop, then you can count on me. Great, thanks. Let's stop her. Hmm, yeah, alright. The goal is to stop Durga and get the heck out of this dream world. Gunzo, walking Taka. There's something I want to ask of you. I want to ask you too. Can you tell me what Durga was doing late last night? Anything you can remember is fine. Like what you talked about, for instance? That might be the key to figuring out how to bring down this Queen of Destruction. Good point. My dream world was influenced by what I was thinking about last night. So Durga's might be the same. Hmm. Uh, what were we talking about before we went to sleep? Oh yeah! I remember now! I can't believe the day ended before we settled on an idea. I bet all the other teams already got their stories figured out. <laughs> the three of us do have a lot of ideas, so our brainstorming sessions can get a little out of hand. Maybe we should just choose one of them and work together to expand on it instead of trying to fit all of them in. After all, I am the root of both of your ideas. I don't really know what you mean by that, but yeah, I guess we should decide on someone's idea. In that case, how about this? A story about a super cool, totally beautiful ruler who strives to be the number one in everything in their king in the kingdom. That's you every day, Durga. You're so driven, my Durga. Your passion truly is touching. I just love being number one, and that's not gonna change just because we're talking about picture books. Still, a certain someone taught me that being number one isn't everything. For me, being number one is all about pride. There's no point in being the best if you don't have to fight for it. That's our Durga! <laughs> that's our Durga! <laughs> I'm happy to go with that story for our picture book. So am I, of course. Now we can sleep with that weight off our chest. Let's get ready for bed then. Should we get a tent? It'd be easier to just set out foot. It'd be easier to just set out futons, but I'm fine either way. I'm getting a tent, obviously. Sure, we're close and all, but no way am I sleeping next to you guys. Okay, we'll get a tent then. What are you saying, my Gunzo? And you, my Durga? We're all we are friends, aren't we? We should be sleeping in the same room, sharing secrets and t talking until the crack of dawn. Oh god. Wow. No, no thanks! Look at you two. Even your words are in sync. You make such a good team, I can't help but feel a little left out. 
There is no need to get so depressed over something like that. Besides, of course Durga and I make a good team. t t tomorrow, I'm knocking off! You're sounding like walking! Huh? What do you mean? Ah, oh, I can't believe you! Whoa! Think fast! <laughs> Getting a little tired there, Durga? Did you forget I'm on the rugby team? You are so infuriating! That's it! You're going down! Oh, a pillow fight! Can I join? Sure you can! You think I passed the chance to pummel you? Whoever hits their opponent with the most pillows wins! Then you can, think you two can keep up? Duh. Duh. I'm no dodgeball pro, but when it comes to balls, I'm an expert. Leaving, I'm not, I'm not, nope, not going there. Uh, uh, I win! Congratulations, my Durga. With your incredible speed and fainting tactics, my pillows hardly touched you. Oh man, no fair. You were moving way too fast. How was I supposed to hit you? Don't be a sore loser, Tamamura. You lost fair and square. Ugh. Anyway, is anyone else anybody else hungry after all that exercise? You're hungry? How about we split the snacks I brought? I made sure to bring enough for all three of us to share. I brought stuff too. I stopped by the store near the school earlier and stocked up. Whoa there, guys! We can't eat snacks at this late at night! Don't you know you burn fewer calories in your sleep? Let's just hit the sack! Come on, don't be like that. Is this because you feel bad for being the only one who didn't bring snacks? Don't worry about it. Look, I even brought stuff I thought you'd like. No way! I can't eat snacks! I'm going to sleep! What's up with you, Durga? I thought you liked sweet things. You really not gonna you're really not gonna have any? Gunzo, you mustn't pressure her into doing something she's against. We should respect her wishes. So, looks like it's just the two of us then. What do you say we have a nice chat while we chow down on goodies? Well, okay, I guess. It'd be a waste not to eat all this stuff. to keep it down, they have to chew, they have to chew so loudly? What happened to self-control anyway? Aren't they supposed to be athletes? You gotta say no to sweets! They're just empty calories! one who went out and bought snacks specifically for her, aren't I? I think that's the problem here. More importantly, all we learned from that story was why we're in our current situation, not how to remedy it. So we still don't have any leads on how to get out of here. I know it's not the most elegant solution, but maybe we really do just have to fight Durga and knock her back to her senses. Do we really have to fight a giant Durga? Oh dear, we have to fight a giant Durga. <laughs> oh no.